Marry me, Molly. I'll keep you safe. I'll protect you. All right, that's probably the sheriff. They're probably going to ask some more questions. Just let me do all the talking. What okay? if they ask me point blank? Stick to the story. It was self-defense, right? late and I'm probably a fool to show up like this but I have to tell you how I... Molly I, I thought that uh, Molly's assignment uh, was a bus so she came home early. all that footage and you couldn't use anything am I interrupting something no actually I just asked Molly to marry me this probably seems a little sudden to you. What does it matter? You didn't propose to me. Yeah, but in a way it does affect you. When you came by earlier for dinner, you didn't say anything about... I, I didn't know that I was going to propose then. Did something happen between then and now? It's not what you think, Lily. I take it you didn't expect this either. No, I... I didn't. I, I've been wanting to ask Molly to marry me for a long time, and then tonight it just, it just hit me. Yeah, what can I say? This night's been full of surprises. It certainly has. Well, I wish you both happiness, and I know Faith is going to be thrilled. I mean, she likes you so much, Molly. Look, that's really sweet of you to say, but I mean it. I mean it. And I promise you, I won't say anything. I'll. I'll let you break the news to her. Thank you. I'll, I'll just take off now so you two can celebrate. Lily, wait. You obviously came out here for a reason. I... Uh, I just wanted a recipe from Emma. I, it can wait. Congratulations. You should go after her. Why? She's obviously upset. Lily's fine. What you I'm worried about? I'm going to be fine. Molly, I just asked you to marry me, and I'm still waiting for an answer. I know. So what's it going to be? If you need that answer tonight, I'm so sorry. The answer's no. It's not that I don't love you. I love you so much. I do. And I would love to be your wife. Then say yes. Would you have asked me to marry you tonight if I hadn't shot and killed Silas? Molly. No, you wouldn't have, and we both know it. Oh, you're a mind reader now? No. I'm freaking out here, and so are you, and I just don't think that's a good time to be making plans for the rest of our lives. Molly, listen to me. Everything I said to Lily was true. I've been wanting to marry you for a very long time. But the only reason that you proposed to me tonight is because you are desperate to protect me. And you feel guilty. I mean, you, you said it. You already said yourself that you feel like it's your fault that I wound up going to see Silas alone. Well, it is, isn't it? I've been spending so much time with Lily's, with the kids, that I neglected you. You didn't feel like I was there for you. That's why you wanted to go handle Silas on your own. Okay, but maybe when it started, I felt that way. Yeah, but tonight, tonight is on me. And what happened? That is not a reason to marry somebody. Molly, I want to marry you because I love you. <laughs> or because if, if for some reason I go on trial as my husband, you can't be forced to testify against me. Why are you doing this? Because I messed up, not you. <laughs> Nobody forced me to go see him tonight. Nobody. He forced you. No, somewhere in the back of my mind, I, I must have known that something was like... <laughs> That's why I brought the gun with me. I don't believe that. There's no way you could have known that he was going to be high on something, that he was going to force himself on you. I knew he was sick. I knew he was dangerous. <sighs> After all these years and everything I think I've learned, I still keep screwing up. It was self-defense. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. Silas was going to plaster the tapes of me and him all over the internet. He was going to make our lives a living hell. And I, 
of Abigail and your mother saw those tapes. Holy I saw a way to get rid of them, Holden, and I took it. I pulled the trigger. And I have to face those consequences, and I'm not about to take you down with me. Holly, you're right. Tonight is the reason that I proposed to you, but it's not the reason that you think. What other reason could there be? Why would you want to spend the rest when, of your life with me? Here, and when I held you in my arms, it just hit me. I, I knew it. I knew it right then and there that I really loved you and that I did never want to lose you. And I know you feel the same way about me. Yes, I do. Yes. Well, then marry me. And everything that's happened, we'll face it together. We'll face it together for the rest of our lives. <laughs> I am. Um, I can't make any decisions right now, Holden. I understand. You need to. Maybe if I go see Carly. I don't think that's such a good idea. She knows me better than anybody except you. What are you going to say to her? I don't know. I just need to talk to her. Okay. I'm going to drive you over there, though. You can't do it. I'm the condition driver. I need to get rid of these tapes first. I'm going to put them someplace where nobody can find them. I'll be right back. Hey, guys. Now you have no idea how good your timing is. I take it you haven't had your TV on tonight? No. No, I haven't. It would have been a good distraction, though. I've had a terrible night. Me too. Yeah, I can see that. What's up? I don't even know where to begin. Okay, well, <laughs> while you think about that, I'll start, okay? Everything with Jack in me was going really well earlier today. I mean, really well. And then, well, let's just say I found something out that could mean trouble for Parker with the whole Monte Carlo investigation, so I did what I had to do to protect my kid, you know? And then Jack went ballistic. Well? I'm sorry. Jack went ballistic? No, 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 no. Forget about that. It's your turn. You pour your heart out, okay? Holden asked me to marry him. Wait, could you, could you say that again? Holden asked No, I heard what you said. That's fantastic. I'm so happy for you. Did he give you a ring? I got it. Molly, what on earth is wrong? <laughs> Everything. Well, you said yes, didn't you? You didn't? Why, why didn't you say yes? Because it's the worst possible timing. You love Holden. You've loved him all your life. You've been waiting to marry him for I don't know how long. The guy asks you to marry him and you say no? Why? I couldn't say yes to Holden's proposal because I killed a man tonight. I'm so sorry. Oh, what an awful thing to go through. But it's okay now. It's over. You're safe. What if the police don't believe my story? Well, why wouldn't they? It's, it's the truth, isn't it? Carly, if I tell you something, do you promise me that you won't breathe the word of it to Jack? Mm, it's just what we fought about earlier, but yes, of course. No, 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 forget it. I don't want to make things any worse for you guys. <laughs> things couldn't possibly get worse. Really, I swear, I won't tell anybody. Okay. Things didn't go down exactly the way I told the police they did. Silas, he left the room for a minute at one point, and I was able to call Holden, and I told him where I was and what was happening and that I was in trouble. Oh, that's why he left Lily so fast. He came and he kicked the door down. And he saw Silas attacking me. He was on top of me. And so Holden went after him, and he knocked him out cold, and then Holden went out to his car so that he could call the sheriff, and that's when Silas came, too. And then it hit it happened like you said it happened, right? He came after you, and, and you, you feared for your life. No. 
he didn't come after me. Not physically, anyway. He came after me with words. He said horrible things to me. He taunted me. How I was a whore and I'd always be a whore. And how he was going to destroy me and Holden and our families. And I lost it. I lost it. And I pulled the trigger. Oh, my God. Oh, God, Molly. It wasn't self-defense, Oh, Yes, it was. Now, yes, it was. Maybe not the, uh, the legal kind, but it was. And if I was there, I would have shot him for you. You know I would. I would swear I would have. Honey, you never would have let it go as far as I did. Okay. You've done the right thing. Was it Holden who, who came up with this story for the sheriff? Okay. Well, you just... You stick with that. And you marry him so that he won't have to testify against you. You do everything that Holden tells you to do. It's not the right way to start off a marriage. It's a fantastic way to start off a marriage. Look at this. It's, it's, he's proving that he's going to move heaven and earth to take care of you. What could be better than that? What if Simon is right? What if I don't deserve Holden's love? You do. When it comes to relationships, there's not a lot that I'm sure of right now. But I do know that. Thank you.